I'm Jeff Aubin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a coach who helps people professionally in a number of different ways. And today, I've got one of those career angles that some of you just need to hear. There's almost a virtue that people are taught about helping others out. And what tends to happen is you become the go-to helper in your department. The one that people come to for, to ask, how do I do this? Could you help me with that? And you've got your own work to do and your own deliverables, but somehow or other, it's like there's a tattoo on your forehead that says, let me help you. I remember I worked in an office some years ago, and this is like pre-aggressive internet times. And you know, you'd have to either call information for a phone number and they would charge you back in the stone ages, or you'd have to look it up because internet really didn't exist. And I remember somehow or other, I got that label. And when people said, hey, what's the number for? Fill in the blank. I, had, I knew that number because I'd been recruiting out of that firm for a number of years. So I knew their main line. And I realized what was happening is I was getting interrupted. People were looking to me as their phone directory and I needed to put an end to it. So when people would start to say, what's the phone number for? I would say, ready, write this one down, 411. And for those of you who don't remember what that is, it's the phone number to get directory assistance over the phone. So I'll just simply say, you need to stay in your lane and you need to be able to do your work instead of being the helper. The helper is always in the situation where the more you help, it becomes insatiable. Like with someone I work with, they're in a situation where they were initially asked to help someone in their office for a week or so with something while they were getting on board. The person I coach had uh, knew the procedures because he'd helped develop it, but now this person is constantly coming to him. And it's to the point where he's not going to take phone calls from this guy. He's going to simply message back saying, not available, watch the video I did for you, instead of always answering questions. Because he's got his own work to do. He's going to be judged by it. The fact that he helped this other person out isn't going to be part of the, oh, you did a great job helping so-and-so for six months uh, get productive when he could have done it on his own. Stop the dysfunctional rescuing of other people. Stay in your lane. Do your work. Train other people that there are other ways they can get what they need other than coming to you. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. Visit TheBigGameHunter.us. I've got a lot there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly, help you manage, help you with your career, a whole host of things. If you want all the job search material stripped out, NoBSCoachingAdvice.com uh, is available to you and has everything other than job search advice. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, what you do is on either website, there's a button there that talks about scheduling. You can schedule time for a discovery call or for coaching. I would love to help you. Lastly, subscribe to my channel on YouTube by clicking the icon in the lower right of the picture of me in the upper left. You'll get notified when I release something new. Have a great day and take care.